Hook Loop is a way of knitting a small circumference of knitting in the round using a much longer needle. And it is a favorite technique of people who knit socks, sweaters, sleeves. You don't have to have the exact right size of circular needles to knit something in the round. Um, I have several vid videos on Magic Loop, different tutorials, and I have a video called Simple Magic Loop, and I'll give you a link here to that video. I put that video out years ago, and uh, I've gotten good feedback on it, but a question is always coming up, like, how do we start? And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started after casting on, how to get your knitted started working in the round on Magic Loop. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, what I have here looks like quite a mess, but we're gonna get this straightened out. I have uh, a, num a number of stitches that is right appropriate for a hat, but I'm on a 32 inch circular, and no one has a 32 inch head, so I'm gonna use Magic Loop for this. And the first thing I wanna do is to find something somewhere close to the center of my cast on stitches, and fold it in half and pull the cord out. Okay, you see what I've done there? I have something close to half the stitches on each needle now. And I'm going to pull the stitches close to the tip of the needle so I can get a good look at everything and make sure it's not twisted. Because just like joining in the round on shorter circulars or with more stitches, we want to make sure it's not twisted. Okay, this right here is, is called the uh, magic loop starting point. We have the stitches all lined up. The stitches are both pointing to the right and my working yarn is on the back needle. So I am ready to go with joining this in the round. And so first thing I do is I pull the back needle along. Okay, and then I'm going to take a stitch marker and put that on the right needle. Okay, so my first stitch is here in my left hand, just like if I was knitting anything else that's not magic loop. I put my needle in, and I think this is the part that probably makes everyone crazy, because my working yarn is all the way over here. My first stitch is here, my working yarn is here. That's nuts, what is going on? Don't worry about it. As soon as you pull on that working yarn, it starts to make more sense. Just pull on it, get it over there where it belongs, and you can start knitting. and you have joined in the round after you work that first stitch. Okay. And if we take a look at what we have here, we have cord sticking out over here and cord sticking out over here and then a little small circumference of knitting here in the center with the extra cord sticking out. And without getting too redundant with the other vid video, um, the Simple Magic Loop video, once I knit up to here, I can just find another spot in my knitting and just pull the extra cord out there instead. And after the cast on, you don't even really have to have two spots of extra cord sticking out. You can just have one. And the thing that, uh, if you ever get confused, just pick up your work, find your working yarn, put it in your right hand, and the, the stitch to the left of the working yarn is your next stitch. That's it. And you can knit a small circumference. You can knit a hat on 32 inch circulars or 40 inch circulars this way, no problem. You don't have to have a special needle set for it. Anyway, that is how to get started from the cast on row with Magic Loop Knitting. Good luck.